Russia's Su-47 rocket fighter jet, notable for its distinctive reverse sweeping design, is frequently referred to as the precursor of Russia's fifth-generation Su-57, Felon, stealth fighter jet. But, Rostik, a state-owned defense conglomerate, has now disclosed that this fighter jet is helping the nation build unmanned aerial vehicles without giving any specific details. The Burkett flew for the first time 25 years ago, in September 1997, when Sukhoi Design Bureau test pilot Igor Vodinsev took to the skies on this aircraft. The Su-47 Burkett was first unveiled to the general public during the Mach's 1999 airshow, where it performed a test flight. This experimental fighter exemplified how things that appeared outlandish in the past are possible with modern materials. Only one aircraft was built and never made it to the assembly line. However, it provides a trove of critical data for Russian aviation engineers. The colossal knowledge of the reverse sweeping built of composite materials acquired during the Burkett tests is employed in developing unmanned aerial vehicles, according to a TASS report that details the development of the Su-47 fighter. The swept back wings reduce inductive drag, improving takeoff and landing characteristics, maneuverability, and subsonic flying range. However, the report does not mention how much of that expertise was used in the development process of Russian drones. It is believed that the building process of the Su-47 produced a wealth of knowledge that was very helpful for the Russian aviation industry in creating modern aircraft. Burkett received a lot of attention from the media and Western defense experts during its development. It was instantly dubbed the fighter of the 21st century, and reports of its planned mass production were extensively publicized. The Burkett was an experimental aircraft designed to work out the layout, technical and technological solutions as part of work on new generation fighters. Work on this topic began in the OKB, a closed institution that works on high technology design and prototyping, mainly for military purposes, under the conditional code S-22, TASS noted. The project was started in 1983 to produce an aircraft with a reverse sweep wing to modernize the Su-27 fighter jet for the USSR Air Force. At the same time, the USSR Navy searched for a new fighter to operate from an aircraft carrier. The fighter was redesignated the Su-27KM, ship modified, but development was halted following the Soviet Union's disintegration. The fighter jet was referred to by several names throughout its development, including S-22, Su-27KM, S-37, and ultimately Su-47.